Welcome everyone to another RGL cast. My name is Jared. I'm here with Space Ghost to bring you guys The Mafia vs. Cozy Black. This is RGL Invite 6's Season 14, Week 2B, and we got a pretty close match tonight, I think. Or at least a lot of people would be expecting The Mafia high on the rise after their victory in uh, Advance or Div 1, whatever, last season, and are looking to make a name for themselves and maybe even find a way to slot themselves into playoffs right off the bat. But Cozy kind of stands in their way if they want to get m in like much further than that pretty established as at least the third best team up until uh you know it, things change but uh if things are going to change it might be you know the match that happens tonight as we are having both these teams face off on metalworks once again where cozy gets a little bit of revenge on the map itself to see if they can get a, a nice victory on it as uh, they had a you know close loss versus global clan uh, earlier on in the past week and for the side of uh the mafia i think they had a match versus anglerfish that they barely won and are definitely looking to prove that uh you know they're able to do so much more and continue their win streak uh, as, as long as they can so space looking like we got a nice one tonight got a lot of familiar names and some new ones as well but it's definitely going to be uh well by default, it'd probably be match of the week as it's going to be the only one. A lot of maps are rescheduled recently. So uh, definitely really excited for it as this is, you know, all we're getting so far. And I'm really, I'm really pumped. I'm anticipating it. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty excited too. I, like you mentioned, it's, uh, well, I guess you leaked the script a bit early when you said it's going to be close. You can't, you can't reveal it too early. Yeah, my gotta, bad, my bad. Gotta keep people on their toes. But I, I think it's funny that we're on Battleworks because for our first, like, Kev team cast of the season, because I always felt like Metalworks is, like, a traditional, like, Kev team map, and that the, you can kind of play, like, the slow, like, more plotting, methodical kind of style of play that they do, where they kind of, like, they're much more willing to turtle than other teams, and uh, if they're, like, past Kev teams, I <laughs> would expect similar things, but well, we'll see. It's funny we'll you mention it. Because the Global Clan match they played where they barely lost, like they were doing not so good, and they started to claw their way back, but weren't able to, to win it in the end, was on Metalworks. And one of the interesting things is, going into that, um, I think you, you weren't here for it, going into that, I expected, but yeah, it's like Kevin on the team, so it's, you know, they're playing Metalworks, it's going to be a very slow game. But it didn't seem like he was in the driver's seat when it came to, uh, okay. you, know, you know, leading the team. They were playing pretty fast, but let's go over the rosters, especially because we got a lot of new blood. Uh, in uh, from the side of the Mafia, which I'll go over them. It is Deadly Seed and Necro on Scout, Loaf and Nerfu on Soldier, Demos on Demo, and Dinko on Medic. And for Cozy, we have Catface and Scouty on Scout, Trip Y and Glimmer on Soldier, Kev on Demo Man, and May on Medic. Yep, familiar names all across the board from the side of Cozy Black. Uh, a lot of playoff proven players, only one that I don't think that has a really playoff experience quite yet is the side of Scouty, as he's relatively new, uh, only has a Caesar or two under his belt. Definitely a lot of Highlander experience though, so it's not like he's, you know, completely uh, nameless or anything, but still looking to prove himself and break his way in, into uh, playoffs. Well, the side of the Mafia, the only returning invite players are Deadly Seed and Loaf, who played on different teams all the way back a year ago in Season 11 and are here for their second season as well. But Necro, Nerfu, Demos, and Dinko, all new blood, and uh, I think five of the six are, like I said, the, the winners of uh, the Div right below. Uh, last season, they are the move-up team, so they're looking to make a name for themselves and prove that, like, yeah, we got wins versus the only, the advanced teams, but we can get some wins versus the invite teams as well. And uh, yeah. this there is probably one. one of the teams there. Yeah, this is probably one of the teams that they're really looking to, like, all right, if we want a challenge, like a serious challenge, uh, this is, I mean, Cozy's not a bad choice for it. So yeah. we'll see what they're capable of. Yeah, Cozy not a bad choice. They'll improve themselves. And I believe Dinko also has a lot of Highlander experience. So some, uh, you know, some maybe not six experience, but some, uh, you know, Highlander gremlins involved within the game. But you know, even looking at the bands real quick, uh, honestly, it's pretty varied. We got, we, we got metal. It, it, okay, that, it is a little straight box. So Mafia, the Mafia, they banned Gully, they banned Product and Brainer, which are like three very different maps. So that's like, like about as different as you well. can get. It's like they, they banned the Scout Prison maps, then you pick a Metalworks. So yeah. I think inside the Cozy Black, it's not like, I mean, I guess kind of... There's no theme they can discern. They just kind of yeah. bend randomly. You can, you can definitely tell that the prioritization wasn't like a theme per se. It was just like, yo, let's just pick what, they're, what we're good at. And I think yeah. it makes sense because if you try to do log digging to see like, what do these guys do in scrims? I don't, I don't it's know. It's pretty early. Like, 
Like sometimes you're lucky and be like, oh yeah, they these guys like play each other like weekly in the preseason, so you you can look at some logs. I don't know if these guys have ever played each other before. If they have, it's like the logs are buried and I couldn't find it looking for like 60 seconds. So uh, it kind of would kind of make sense that they don't really have too much to go off of when it comes to a, a map pool, you know, or yeah. what they should be expecting out of the opponents. But I think we're we're probably entering the under 60 second mark before we go live here. So any thoughts about what the score will be for tonight? I'm expecting the Kev team to win. They're, I think, the clear favorites going in. The question is, you know, by how much, if assuming they do win, is it going to be a stomp? Is it going to be kind of a slow game? I, uh, I'm expecting the Kev team. I think this is a. They did just barely lose to your all. Well, what's it's not that way. There's global plan on it. So I'm going to say like a 4 1 for the Kev team. Yeah, I will say I think the Mafia definitely has some serious star course energy and they could be a force to be reckoned with this season, but they still have a lot to learn still early on in the season. And, uh, you know, barely winning versus Anglerfish versus barely losing versus Global Clan is a big gap. So we'll see what will be able to become, uh, come of this for them. As we are live in the first mid of this match, a lot of damage on the side of the blue team right off the bat. A lot of ground taken from the side of Cozy, and they are relentless with it. Necro trying to take space. Same could be said for Demos, but they're actually inside the blue house trying to do a 2v2 scenario. Maybe they can hurt. pick off Necro, but everyone's weak. So many redhead players across the board, but nice air from Dinko takes down Glimmers. That's the first death bomb from low. Doesn't get too much damage, though. He's still man. alive, but... Yeah. Cat, cat face flanking, able to find the kill of Dinko. They're collapsing right now. They need to find a kill on the May if they so desire, but Cozy, they're recognized they need to back Wolf up. Wolf is flanking. Flank, I don't know though. if they know. Might find the timing. Not really finding their way on the May, though. Maybe one rocket. Not quite enough to seal the deal, though. Kev really weak. Ooh, with Dynos. He's able to get the kill, but yeah. He's uh, kind of caught in no man's land. That'll overall be a full wipe in okay. favor of Cozy. Just I'm barely hanging on. Only two left it. alive, but a victory nonetheless, as they'll be able to take the point and keep their Uber intact throughout it all. They're going to keep their Uber intact, but this is going to be a slow cap, so who do you think is going to have time to get things set up? I don't think they're going to have quite enough to get Uber, but it's going to be a little close. So Red Team does have to Hurry up a bit, because there's some very late deaths involved. You know, Kev was a very late death, along with uh, some of the other players. So they are going to get second, but there's going to be players rolling out. And we do see Catface on the Pudus, already bringing Post up the memes. Heavy. The refight yeah. Pudus. He's on the, the, the brass knuckles. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it's, it's the go. It's the it's the go fast ones, but not the not the actual go fast ones. It's like the fake ones. Yeah, the eviction notice. Yeah, I feel like he has he has like the boxing helmet on too. You know, he's he's got like a theme going. Yeah, post super heavy. Ready for the post fight. I think they Cafe's the pyro, new. Yeah. And the traps are on the ramp too. Oh, he deaths. Pops over the air. Doesn't really get any kills though. Can't Almost got him with the unflash, but his gun still alive. They finally get their own. I don't know if they're ready for the fire. They're trying to chase. They don't really have the ability to chase that hard. I mean. They counter popped, but it didn't really get too much. And now, I mean, Cozy kind of just have at again. Uh, and that cat faces on Buddhist. The the trap really, uh, you know, kind of. They're just gonna refight for them. Oh, they're just drying. They're saying, we, you know, we have a heavy. We're fine here. It could. They be have a level three though. though. They don't really have that mobility to not be inside each other's models. So the, you know, the heavy's kind of doing most of the work here. But uh, hey, at least you know, even if they can cancel it early, they still have an ad to work with. Kind of. I mean, it's really slim. You might have to try to like go early if so like if you can considering they're holding up against the wall it might actually be possible but it's still really risky because one you have to spot if they're actually holding like this two they're still a pyro so i mean i, I you wouldn't be surprised if they don't I saw actually pyros go for it clearing the sticks with the detonator a very underrated utility of the detonator there <laughs> clearing the sticks yeah, so the going pyro is going to be flanking two cat faces there's going to be oh, the oh the <laughs> okay cat face sacked on heavy but Kev gets Kev? a 2k with the trip! Yeah, it was in the shutter. Both uh, Nerfu and Loaf had the same idea to peek shutter at the exact same time. The so kind of thorn in their side. Uh -oh. They're still poking around. It's a 4v4. They know. Cozy knows that they can afford to actually sack one more here. They don't have soldiers, though. And the fact that they don't have soldiers means that the gun is a thorn in their side. They have to either kill someone peeking around a corner or, you know, finally. Able to nice play from Dino here. Yeah. So without the spam really readily available from the side of the blue team, still able to thwart things. The gun is able to do the work. And uh, Cozy backing up after the one man and blue team on the move. The pyro is actually out inside lobby trying to clear the sticks for everyone. But it seemed like they're actually committing for the sack. It's already um, been like two minutes. I, I think they might want to turtle up here. And they do get trips. So that's going to delay the sacks a bit. No meme off classes trap. or anything funny. They're going to just go normal stuff. So at that point... We, you know, minute 30 left, so Cozy does have only limited time work. We're gonna have a second nerf. He's gonna get a lot of damage. He's gonna get the force and Catface. 
no one was watching bottom right. He just waddled straight through. Scouty, oh, tried to chase, didn't realize the Uber wasn't coming his direction. He's trying to escape, he's gonna burn to death. They had different ideas, made and follow him all the way, and he tried to escape, but uh, not so lucky there. Low able to get through, finds a way to avoid the trap, miss some air shots, including the arrow, but the last one hits. Enough damage to make sure he kills himself with his own rocket jump in the shutters. Overall, a one for one trade there. But the Uber still gonna... expended, can't ignore that, as Dinko still has it after all this time. They have so a minute probably... left. Let's see. Yeah. If, do you think they push out here, or do you think you, you stay on last? It looks like they're going to stay on last. If they were going mean... to go, they probably would have gone. If you're really confident, you can go for it. But this is early on in the season. Who, know, who knows how much metal works they've actually practiced. It is a Scouty's match that's really important. This could be one of those matches you look back to that could make or break not only victories, but just straight up rounds yeah. on uh, whether or not you make playoffs. Because it's pretty hotly contested, I think, around the middle area. So they're definitely playing safe. Uh, probably are not that confident about going out of last with their ad on this map in particular. So... Banner coming out though. They're just trying to dry this early as a, like a way to force. They don't even have Uber yet. Scouty's gonna die though. Get sticky it out. They got the They're gun. Get the gun. So there is something. There is less spam oh, on the field. For slightly, but, oh, Glimmer bombs in last second with the banner. The last minute of it. it overall, is gonna be trade as both uh, hit skin class is able to clean up the sword that initiated in. But overall, no dice there from that sack. Trip was almost a casualty himself, but. Uh, not really finding too much luck here. They do have to probably use Effies is running at the demo they use. And they're going for an exchange, but they also need cap time as well. And it doesn't look like they have that much of an avenue to get. I mean, cap is kind of on the point. He's getting burned down. He's dead, and that's a stalemate. <laughs> and uh, the Mafia, they get what they desire. Back to mid they go. And honestly, considering how the first mid went when it was so close, can't be too mad at it, honestly. Probably yeah. pretty confident you can maybe get something. Uh, or to get like get the ball rolling there, but the same honestly could be said for Cozy. You know, if they if they're able to barely win out the mid and claw themselves back in the position they once found themselves, but uh, you know, new mid, new you, so we'll see what shakes out this time. Yeah, the four minute round timer does feel very I'm not gonna say oppressive at times, but it's like you only have so many opportunities to kind of beef on last before you just get sent straight back to mid, so Definitely gotta, you know, make sure you got all your ducks in rows. We're gonna settle to a new mid here. Our team getting very the aggressive, pipe? but the pipes dime us taking out Glimmer and May. That's gonna signal a retreat as Kev's gonna attempt to push forward and he gets spammed down. Cozy on the back foot here, you know, coming into this match as favorites. They uh, won the initial mid and it's kind of been downhill since then. Yeah, spam pipes in the doorways and, you know, a lot of the times you just kind of expect, like, oh yeah, I'll do some roller damage, but uh, no, they caught them real hard and that was the end of that mid right front center with maybe the first death as well is uh, extra gnarly, so. That'll be a done deal there. Is Trip tried to go behind, wasn't really able to find too much. Able to escape though, at least, so is going to be available to uh, be at last. So I think a lot of the time we saw him actually go up above the point, but is not going for that avenue so far, at least for now. Uh, here defending last is Uber ready to go for the side of the blue team. Got a sniper and a gun to worry about, but here they go through the it's left. It's a double scout, side. actually. Yeah, double scout. Get, expecting a pyro. Will not find one actually going straight for the gun. They drop one of their scouts, though. Trying to get cap time, so going to be down a person, but overall triple trade for it. One for one scenario. They're bombing in, trying to take down Dingo. He will die. Cozy still alive with most of their team. They're dropping like flies, and Nerfu is the only one left alive. Four HP will uh, escape plan out of there. So, uh,. You know, not really going to find too much there. I mean, dropping your scout early. I mean, admirable to go with a double scout. There was not a pyro there. Dropping the scout too from the cap time is going to be the nail in the coffin. And Cozy find an avenue to not only take two pretty much for free, but have an avenue to push in the mid with their ad and maybe even take it for themselves. They do have to be mindful of the deadly sea sniper it's in his own valley right now. And they do have to be mindful of it, but Loaf has to be mindful of Glimmer bombing forward and getting that pick, so that's going to still be retreat. Deadly Seed, Deadly Seed is still in Valley, and he's going to try to run away. His teammates... Rather, his teammates oh, going to help support him, but they're going through Lobby, and they're going fast. They're going to use it, and Blue Team had no idea Tinko going to be an immediate death, and this is a collapse. That's that's a that is a full wipe. wipe. That's the perfect time to go for a bridge Uber, you know? If you ever sit and build your uber the only thing the other team can do is just spot you didn't see him cross under pass oh it's grid but if they literally just got there to two they are not prepared speaking of not prepared loaf was not prepared for him to spawn to be absolutely trapped and uh you know the the expectation there like you gotta you know keep your head on a swivel there they're probably thinking about you know i mean it's a bit of an assumption a lot of times when you see full wipes like that with complete complete unpreparedness it's because you're busy talking about something else that went on. Maybe something happened in mid or the yeah. opposing two, but... Uh, it's a nice aggressive reset? surprise play. Yeah, Cozy get the first round there off of that play. Very successful. We're back to our third mid fight. Back to our third mid fight. So far, we've been even on the mid fights. Nothing too extreme is. A lot of players from the red team going to go top right. 
Not that much damage to it is. Loaf is gonna get walked out by Scouty. Scouty gonna surf back and in a pack as Loaf is Loaf is gonna get packed as well. Deadly Seed fighting Cat Face and Lower, but there's gonna be some nice bombs, gonna be trades back and forth. As Blue Team's kinda caught in their own valley. Red team is taking all the high ground, but they're getting spammed off of it, and the new the coordination from Nerf Room Loaf is gonna get two. And there might be some more kills if Scouty isn't too careful. Yeah, Cozy did so much damage to Demos, but uh, not quite enough coordination, or at least the timing of it to actually secure the kill. The keeping a dome in alive on Metalworks can be pretty gnarly. That combined with Loaf hitting some nice rockets there near the tail end of the mid means that uh, they're going to keep their head on a swivel and actually secure mid for themselves. Ooh, but Kev, Kev might be oh, Kev's so good. Flirting with danger. Will survive for now, though, as both teams have Uber. They're just trying to see what they can get away with. They know there are some scouts that were rolling out for the side of the Mafia, but uh, weren't too lucky to find a way to break themselves through. But Cafe's, he did find an opening. No one spotted him. He's going for the moment, and oh, Dinko. Say no, he's not going to hit that second or that third shot, and is correct. Catface will not really find too much of that. Means there's not really going to be a gun to prevent these sacks from going off. So we'll see what the Mafia is cooking up here. They're trying to poke around, mine the traps. They're trying to clear them now. It's buying some time, so Catface will eventually spawn. Still no gun, though. Scouty up on Sniper is. The Nerfu bomb is happening. Trying to spam Trip. Not really going for the medic quite yet. May kind of out in the open, but will not connect. Only a little bit of damage to his name, but will not really amount to anything. Mindful of the traps that Demos has set up. It's on the sheet metal. And it blind deaths onto Scouty as well. Ooh. Actually, that was, I don't even know if that was a blind death. He has, might have been looked through the window. Either way, that is the accidental quote unquote counter sack that uh, Mafia have thwarted. And uh, now we're back to square one with another sack coming their way. I wrecked the square one. Still no sentry. They were lucky to go. All of the stop classes other than a, a sniper. And and we're gonna give it a quick time at the drop! They got the drop on the main, they got two for it, but hey, I think you take those. They're gonna even get eats off the back end. Red just kind of rest forward, expecting to get anything. There's gonna be Scouty on Pyro, but it's gonna get two shots. And that's gonna be an easy cap. That was an immediate crumble for the that was That was a classic, like, one soldier bombs in, and you're like, I'm surrounded by so many people. There's gonna be so much damage that goes onto the soldier, there's no way he gets a second rocket. Like, he'll get one, but that's it. May was wrong. He didn't get a second <laughs> rocket. It's either. You know, either someone missed Someone or, beefed or... You know. I, I don't know. I mean, there because it was a two-man. Either someone missed or someone was looking at the other person that went in. Like, I think the scout and, uh, you know, May. You know, not really going to find too much luck there. So once again, another clean sweep of a round. But back from their mid. Trip going in really fast, trying to... Got a lot of damage, pressure. no kill. Yeah. He, I mean, he and tried to get fast. They're going to back up immediately. Just they're just out. They lost their de yeah. soldier. Yeah. Cozy in the backseat that they had one really good play where they like kind of salvage that around, but other than that, not too much is uh Blue's gonna have two feeders late into the mid and they're still capping up mid. Cozy's gonna try to take advantage of this, but Loaf gonna block that uh, glimmer from bombing forward and they're gonna get this point, which means that the respawners are gonna be faster, but Glimmer gonna try to make some space, but he's gotta be careful, he doesn't get caught out and he is. They get the demo though, and they they're gonna get the point, but at what cost they get to both teams still have Uber. Yeah, coming back in now, Uber expanded by the side of the blue team, trying to work their way on to Kev, getting some damage. We'll the counter pop will finally come through. Deadly Seed just barely safe, but will certainly not live, at least for now, unless they actually focus on the different scout. They focus on the different oh, the scout, they so do hurt. finally get him. That was so sketchy. They end up losing two for it. So overall, with the respawn advantage still on the favor of the blue team, there's still incentive for them to fight this. With Kev dead, no stickies, you definitely go for that. And Cozy, I mean, that was a perfect opportunity for them to chase with their better Uber and collect, you know, collect some without giving up too much. But they got so much damage on one scout, just switched to the other one, got dropped both down to half HP, but uh, overall, it was not swift enough for them to keep themselves alive. The blue team starting this drive push, oh, double bomb coming from the side of Cozy, only getting low though, really. Counter initiation coming from the they side got, of Nerfu, and they're, new. they're just falling. I mean, they've they gotten a couple they consolation get prizes. The yeah, heals they... from Dinko, though, is definitely going to keep them alive in the long haul. The it only... is. Catface is trying to flank behind. Yeah, that's, that's, that's their the play right got. Now. Yeah, it's, it's up to Catface here to kind of make a play, because... It's not ending well right now. Kev's gonna walk away, try to pressure. Kat's, Kevy's going for it again, so he tried this once before. Didn't get the two shot, Dinko, in respect, but Kevy's gets spotted and he's actually gonna back up, so full Uber ad for the side of the Mafia. And Cozy Black on the back foot on last again. I mean, the Cozy bomb just didn't really get too much. Like, Loaf died. He wasn't even dying from the damage of the soldiers, he went and hit himself as well. So this double bomb did not do enough damage to actually clean up a singular player, and it doesn't seem like there was very much follow-up either when it comes to, uh, you know, trying to, to make sure that Akira is secured as well. But Uber coming in with their app on the side of the blue team. No gun to worry about, but there's a heavier behind them. 
you know, gonna fall, but they've already expanded their Uber. Not that great of a kill in the short term, but definitely for the long term. But will long term matter? Up, so Two hurt. left alive. Pipe from Kev on the Demos, and it's just Necro left alive. Trip trying to get a last spam rocket, just chasing him down, able to get that frag. And I mean, there was no gun to deal with, but still, I mean, the, the flanking heavy was definitely a huge thorn in their side. It's a really nice play from Scouty to keep Cozy alive. And so I feel like there's no point pressure either. They got a little bit, but not much. Both times they've really, like, I feel like chased the kills a lot, but they've been rotating. Who has been rotating very well to avoid it? Mm -hmm. I mean, you gotta, you gotta pick and choose. If you if you don't think that you're able to get any kills, you definitely have to go for the point play. But uh, Bomb comes in with the Uber. I mean, they got some damage, but okay, they're overall they lost going two? to lose people. The flank play coming from the side And Loaf is coming back in. Yeah, it's a nice distraction. Overall, 4v4 and a respawn advantage and Uber advantage long term for the oh, side of Mafia means that Cozy has to win fast and now. They get the initial pick on the Loaf. Necro unable to do enough damage to actually get a kill on the right team. And Kev gets a sticky on as well. So Kev's bombing forward. It wasn't a good incentive for the side of Mafia to fight, but the execution was just way better from the side of Cozy. Really good defensively to make sure they bait each other in a healthy, proper way to keep everyone alive. And they played it fast because they knew they had to, otherwise they would probably just lose by default. So it's giving them this opportunity to go ahead and just take two for free. I mean, you got a couple You have a soldier here. hiding in spawn. It's just a skeleton crew. I mean, Nerfu has to be the big hitter here, otherwise it's just going to be a free two. Oh, they're going to try to reuse, and Nerfu's going to get... Nerfu went in just as they walked in for this turn. Danko going to back up, but they're going to get Glimmer off that second. Red team actually backed up. They only lost the one trying to just get the medic, and they're going to go very fast here. They know the Uber ad is basically non-existent. They're going to try to go for a surprise Uber and or exchange, but they have a lot of people to flash. Yeah, they brought a lot of people into that. Oh, so Danko is... Uh -oh. Yeah, they popped first, so this is how you kind of want to go. Oh, wait, but they're in lobby. really deep, though. Oof. Low. Not able to hit the mark. Only two left alive. Both explosive classes in lobby. I mean, going for that flank play. I mean, maybe you just keep it a solo. Put your demo in there, and it's kind of awkward. He just had to immediately jump out. Honestly, they probably thought it was still Adam. Or you know, it must might be a super late death here with the scout, and he is. That is very abysmal for the side of blue team. So no stickies means that free cap time for the side of Cozy as they work their way through. But honestly, they're probably just going to dry. There is a heavy on the field. They do have to, you know, be tasteful with this dry and have some coordination to it. They can screw this up, but it is a bit easier. And oh, that's the shot on the main means you have oh, to play fast. Oh, but they have no one to block the point. Yeah, you have to play really fast now. But the heavy, yeah, he's unable to block the point. They already gave him a soldier's life. I don't think Nerf was quite ready for it. And uh, they definitely, you know, Mafia tried to salvage it, but Cody definitely recognized it like, all right, we've lost our medic. You know, that demo's gonna respawn soon. It's point or nothing. Three people immediately gunned for it. And uh, it was the ticket to nail a second round in their favor as we are now two to one here on Metalworks. We're gonna be two to one here on Metalworks. And so far it's been a pretty back and forth game. Maybe not what Cozy was going into expecting, but the Mafia definitely putting up a pretty good fight so far. Cozy also, they haven't had like a real quote unquote last push with Jupiter out yet. All their. A lot of the pushes have been just free. Yeah, like, they've been either made. free or just like weird drive pushes. Oh, uh, we're playing Ringer on the Rosie. Whoever's losing is wiping probably this minute, unless the Uber's coming to the equation, but uh, well, I guess we'll see if that Both happens. Both medics kind of hurt. Both teams are kind of just standing around playing this, this spam game, but Red is decisively losing the spam game here. As, uh, gonna, Loaf is going to bomb behind on the May, not going to get May. And Trip's gonna be flanking behind. Red is streaming for. They're gonna get both soldiers, but a massive nuke from Trip is gonna get Denko, and that's gonna be. Red team really can just sit pretty and try to either. Yeah, they're just gonna use, and I honestly, I, I respect that. Yeah, first the demo, probably get one of the scouts. Got to get something here. Find a side of the sandwich and definitely take it out of the equation. Necro's you know, doing a, such a good job baiting this for his players can come in. Yeah, they're on the main now. At least kind of not really too much damage on him. Nerfu doesn't actually hit too much. Scouty does indeed. At least he's behind. He he can he get cafes? Oh, he gets cafes! Deadly seed. Damage on a May. Just him though. He's not really gonna get too much help he's here. Gonna deball he's delaying for so long though. The blue player is actually. Like, they played the waiting game perfectly there, even though they didn't have their medic, they just baited each other perfectly. And Cozy's still not, you know, they still have their medic alive, but it's a lot better than it was in the past. They're gonna probably parlay that into a second, successful second hold, when that could have been a full wipe, like you said. Yeah, honestly, not too bad in the attempt to actually try to elongate things and make it really difficult for Cozy's post super, but... Uh, it could have yeah, been a lot worse. I think the, this is where the experience really kicks in on like the, the minute details of your positioning for things like this to make sure that you got it, you know, all your ducks in a row. The coordination uh, of the Mafia is pretty impressive. Just like their in-fight coordination to like debate each other to get back in. They're, they're definitely, you can see that they're very much all on the same page. It is, but you can also show that Cozy, they've been through this year after year 
and, uh, and they're trying to Uber through. They're able to get one, but this Uber, that's the one thing they weren't expecting. And a Nerfu's lot of damage behind. coming on one of the scout scout. He will die. Cat is behind, so no more scout speed and no one to protect against this Nerfu bomb on a trip. Sends him oh, to the trip ground, is but so he's, too, he's too healthy. He had a buff, so Nerfu will indeed die. So overall, just a one for two trade. Deadly oh, Seed? Ooh. Just chads up and tries to take down trip. Both will get extremely low into the red, but will barely escape with only a handful of HP to each of their names is overall not going to lead to too much beyond the capture for the side of Cozy is missing some players, can't really dry or anything. Or you can maybe sack while the gun's getting built up even though you don't have Uber if you really want to go for that route. But uh, I think with Trip being so hurt and I think Glimmer was rolling out, it's not really going to work out too well. But Trip's poking now, finds the demo, immediately backs up, doesn't want any of that so far. Scouty will respawn on Sniper though as they've chosen that as the avenue to try to break the stalemate. Got the gun building up. You hear the voice line. Glimmer heard it. He wants to go now, kind of. Pokes around the corner, tries to pee fire the pyro. But gets reflected. On the move, but there's going to be a bomb. That's going to be a force. Yep. So good timing there. Get the pyro out of the equation. Kind of distract him. Moving the gun once again, but uh, full add for the side of Cozy. And they didn't even have to use their sniper beyond him existing. There's a sniper up. All right, let's hold against the wall. And then Trip only has to go so far to make sure he can, you know, connect on a dinko and get that force a really good Sometimes job the sniper just makes the other team play in a better spot that's easier for the soldier to say yep. it does work out that way they are gonna have to push in here with the sniper but we'll have to see how that goes scouty is pretty fierce on the sniper that is this highlander maiden they're gonna try to get some point time here but no kills and they just kill the gun good team yep. they are pretty hurt so that's gonna be the road to success but we have deadly seed on the putis and uh unless scouty gets a pick here it might be uh that hit for the last push although we do have some uh, Lou is so they hurt, they got to be over, but I mean, the initial execution isn't too bad, but their, their coordination, okay, it's working, it's working. They played a slow and methodical, I thought, you know, I could have, I probably would have expected something slightly different when it came to the way that Cozy was going to do that. They, instead of baiting with scouts, they have both their soldiers jump point to bring over both soldiers. And then they killed both soldiers, which is, that's not every day that you really see it work that way. Usually there's a, a scout involved somewhere, but, uh. Nowhere to be seen, so a bit awkward, but it still eventually works out in their favor. Uh, especially with the heavy on the field and everything, it's a lot of HP to chew through. But 3-1, you know, Cozy, they're leading the charge, but uh, you know, the side of the Mafia, they really gotta, you know, shake out these mids in their favor some way or another, or they're gonna have a long road back to, you know, finding themselves in a good footing to, to take away this match. Especially yeah, they gonna fall starting. pretty immediately. And that's, yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's Blue it. Team it's already, all... already on the retreat. They're, they're trying to get Sapphire's going on pretty fast. We just get some spam off, but uh, I, I don't blame the Mafia. They want to settle into the second hold. They want to, like, you know, they don't want to, after you lose the one, they're kind of down in the match, so you can't take too many risks like that. If, uh... No one was spotting underpass. They get a lot of damage on Emos, but once again, the double bomb doesn't do enough to kill the demo. They're actually trying to punish Kev at least a little bit. Cozy takes a lot of damage. Time can be said for the side of Mafia, though, but overall, we're not really leading to anything. Now, both teams are not 5v5, but 6v6. Mafia has the respawner. Cozy's done capping. Bomb coming in from the side of Trip. Recognizes that Dinko is not available to actually land on. Tries to go for someone else. Does not really find the mark there. They're all buffed. So, counter going for the side of the Mafia. So, working their way through house. Maybe a bomb from Nerfu or Loaf. One of the other. Nerfu committing. So <laughs> low, though. Lands and he's already, like, over under 100. And he's 108 as he hits the floor. So, uh, not really find too much there. Glimmer with a sack through on the Dinko. Nice direct. He goes 8. He's 11 hiding in a corner. But uh, they will not find too much more than that. Two picks, though. That's definitely really good. Still a reason for the side of Cozy. Nerf is going to be rolling. coming soon, so they have to go before the respawns come. But yeah. overall, not bad. And Loaf is going to spot Valley. And Catface is going to get behind. I don't know if Catface was spotted. So Catface is going to have the potential for play, but going to run into Nerf, and that's going to be for Catface. That was the play. And uh, there's another retreat. But not before Deadly Seed. Deadly Seed's going to walk forward see if he can make something happen in Valley. Yeah, Nerf and Lobby as well are oh, in house. Oh, found but a trap. All immediately losing two as well and keeping the uber intact another Chat situation he's asking in chat why is a lobby but they're gonna have a force from trip that might force have to be this many it's basically an exchange oh this is basically an exchange but uh dingo's oh, running away just with the scout whereas blue team is a lot of you know stragglers running around just getting cleaned up and they're gonna get their response because they're gonna be down two spamming classes for this last hold and uh i think red team looks like they want to at least play the game a bit and uh see if they can get in before this one I mean, they're not going to be there at the doors, but they will be there for, for the fight because Catface died him, and they couldn't really cap that efficiently. And Nerfu's definitely doing his best to slow them down. It's so much damage that this pushes over. Both scouts got dropped to almost red HP. The, that was almost the dry, a disaster. The dry is not happening. Uh, the dry is so. indeed not happening. And uh, I don't think we have we really seen an uh, like 
Like, I guess we have seen an Uber at a push from Cozy. So they have actually pushed last. They have pushed Rebels. You know, be sometimes a difficult last to push depending on a... I've, I've seen some teams definitely just not know how to push this last. I don't, I mean, I'm, I don't think it's as saw... bad as process, but it, it can be a little hard. The last one we saw, they went far right, the exact opposite direction of the gun, and because there's still a pyro, it took forever to kill the gun, and that's where it was like really sketchy 6v6 post uber, where it's like very coin flippy. They still came away with it though, but uh, now we're in another stalemate. Trip bombing in, just wants to get the gun out of the equation and maybe help a second person to cat face to run in, and you know, he does d indeed do that, but cat face doesn't really get too far. So overall, two men doesn't really really lead to too much. Mind the traps, though. They gotta have some shutter PTSD. Not really watched, though. Oh, he gets blinded by... Oh, no, Kev's like okay, the, window. the window. I keep getting baited by the window. I forget it exists. Yeah, the window uh, is a good way, but losing a demo at a soldier, it's gonna be pretty tough. They only have one scout to block, and... Uh, they, they're gonna get... Cozy's getting very aggressive here trying to get this gun. It's only level one. It's getting... Oh, whoa, you know, unable to jump away. Okay, they have... Davos is gonna be a spawner, but... Uh, they're gonna get the gun at the cost of Trip not being in this fight. Yeah, they oh, and the that's drop, a drop for me. I was about to say it's Cody's fight to lose, but I think May just disrespected the scout. Like, nah, he's not gonna hit that. It was literally a, a solo play. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there was an assist. Correct me if I'm wrong. And maybe there was. It was minute, if anything. So only a scout was in his face. So he was the brunt of the damage. But. Uh, yeah, I was about to say it would take a miracle for the side of Cozy to like, you know, Cozy would have to screw this up real hard, considering there's down two. And, did you see what both typed in chat? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> Jimmy it happened. It, happens. it does happen. But honestly, it, it's, it's I, I respect the drop there. That's a second drop. But look at Catface. I respect the drop for believing himself. You know, that, that's a either disrespect or you really believing in your abilities. Just didn't work out that time. Dude, Catface almost got accidentally spy checked. By that's a good was. place. That actually, I I've seen many a spy. That's a really good spy time because no one checks there. The only issue is um. If if you they can see you through the walls, like, he's gonna get shadows. it. Oh, he might get unlucky depending on Nerfy's timing. Nerfy's like turning around. He waited a long time, so it's actually. They're, I mean, they're not they, really doing too much because they want to let Catface go ahead and decloak. But I mean, I, I guess, feel like yeah. they know. Oh my God, what the they they know. Yeah, but the fact they're turning around from means there is some room for them to work. With. Realistically, Catface Dinko is knows. a spy player. Dinko and, knows. But the paranoia. It brings Dinko so low, and Glimmer's able to get the kill. The Uber comes out. They're able to get the medic kill, but they need much more than that. Otherwise, they're going to be down to for this post. And Necro is kind of delaying them a bit, being, being able to Amos actually Amos is not walking in, trying to buy some space. They get Glimmer. Yeah. Empty Seed is in, and he's going to He's gonna be pretty well, but you know, it's only a matter of time. They're going to have the double bombs in. Here comes the Calvary, but can they get any kills? Kev's kind of caught, and he's going to be so hurt. And they're going to get Kev, and both soldiers lived after that double bomb. So the, this delaying action... By the Moffat is going to end up working out pretty well in their favor. They still have mid and they're going to get the reinforcement team, but they do have Uber to set. Yeah, I mean, they had Uber to set before, so it's a bit of a reset if you think of it that way. But uh, Cozy are pushing this in opposing team's territory with no Del. Ooh, Catface so is getting sauced. This is the I'm better than you type of push, so we'll oh my God, see what happens. Gets two. It's a 2v2 scenario. Pretty good job and from the side of the Mafia. But uh, oh, the flank, the final rocket does not quite connect Cozy. I mean, they're really banking on the fact that, like, yeah, someone will be forward, we'll kill them, it'll be fine. I mean, the Mafia wasn't that slow to actually actually get back to mid, so it was really a, a balls-to-the-wall push, but, uh, of course, the really nice play from Deadly Seed to kind of thwart that, you know, kind of prevent their plans from coming to fruition, but they still have an Uber to work with. No soldiers quite available unless they want to make it, like, 20%. Ad, I feel like, but they're going to go anyway. Uh, yeah, maybe, but uh, they're going through, dry, one behind, gets killed on the side of trip, so Deadly Seed gonna be Wolf is trying to get out, but oh, he's gonna get dead. Yeah, sent to the skybox, but they are gonna get their Uber off this, but they basically sent to two men and uh, did not like, get that much. They're gonna have to be able to scout the cap, so that face is unable to really participate in this. But these waters are gonna take a bit to get here, that's gonna leave some open space for uh, Glimmer to come in and get some Thank spam off. Look at this spam. Yeah, they're gonna just, just get forced. To... It wasn't even on their own volition. They did a lot of damage. Oh, they dropped Scouty. They did, get, get, they did get dropped, so despite Mafia being in not the greatest of places, they are able to put the pedal to the metal and make sure that uh, at least Cozy is at least a little bit punished. But at the end of the day, that early use and the post troop positioning is a bit too far forward. So they're gonna overall lose a lot here. Maybe get May at the tail end of things? It's no. It's just gonna be low. It's low just first low. the world. He's at last. They got the cap already good, and Catface has it down, and Trip is ready to try to start a 1v1 here early on. He'll have a cap time bring Loaf in. But uh, the respawners, they're barely just arriving. Not enough they time get as locked in. Coast doing a really good job here. I mean, they're having some hiccups, like a drop player here and there, an Uber dropped, etc., etc. But overall, you know, they're definitely 
trying to make the most out of the, the small player advantages that they're uh, accumulating. And uh, you know, like I said, despite the speed buffs, it's still working out. So they find themselves 4-1 in this match, and this is going to be a very important mid side of the Mafia, because if they do not have everything lined up, if they make sure that, uh, you know, they gotta make sure that no one explodes right off the bat, or this could be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end, is Cozy. They're gonna get forward pretty early on the blue crate and try to get some spam down. They get some nice spam down onto Dymos. Dymos gonna get a bow, gonna get uh, pretty healed up, but both teams not really doing too much now. They're just both spamming and seeing what they oh, can the do. Positioning. But the positioning, he he yeah, he so is so dead. far forward, and that's gonna probably signal the retreat. Yeah, I mean, the positioning was so good from the side of Cozy. They did it all at the same time, so it was so hard to pick Ooh. who to actually focus down. Glimmer trying to go for Trips a long ego trip. The follow up, the <laughs> sec up. Another rocket does not quite connect. Yeah, these behind. And this is gonna maybe buy some time or at least go for the counter sack. Unable to get too much, so just gonna have to back up. And both teams trading too, but Cozy down two soldiers means that they are. Uh, oh, they actually get they get nerfed with the tail on there, so now they can attempt to play the game. But oh, this was red like a plug. Yeah, another dropped player. But we've seen Cozy in this situation before. But oh, Kev. Okay, he's getting flashed. He's fine. Oh, no, he... <laughs> Necro gets air shot spinning in circles. As we now are officially in infinite overtime, by the way. So if, if that wasn't enough to seal the deal, the fact that we're at four rounds, then this definitely is. As uh, a lot of good initial damage coming from the side of Trip into that shutter. The Mafia tried to go ahead and peek into two while there was still some room, but Trip just single handedly thwarted that it happening from any way, shape, or form. It's a really good job from him. As back to last they go, they got the heavy, got the pyro. They know there's no real uber add that Cozy can work with. So oh, Dybos getting drive too rocketed by Trip. Yep, not buffed by the side of Dinko, not really in sync. The focus on the heavy instead. With no demo, I mean, give up both your soldiers though. You have no soldiers on the field, it's gonna be hard to drive off that. But uh, at least it's, you know, side of the Mafia, they still have some time. Deadly Seed's on Engineer now to go ahead and build it up and maybe hope for the round reset we saw at the very beginning of the match. That's gonna be their saving grace here. As a uh, cat face going back to spawn is on engineer, is building a teleporter. Ooh, love to see it. Love to see, see it. This is an ancient strat. Is it, it is I, I've seen, I've seen Sparkle Game do this. Is, see, Nerf was checking, or he checked. I don't think he expected to check for engineer. Yeah, I know. I, I've seen I've seen Sparkle Gang do this. You build the sentry in the corner. This is an ancient technique. Perhaps but the thing even, is, perhaps even a forbidden technique. This this even goes all the way back to mix up. You would it does, yeah. You would see Enigma build sentry guns in the ramp room just to slow them down and buy time for the respawners. The problem is, is the timer. You're taking so much time this was better the when there to nine build minutes this. To work right. with. You build it and then bring it forward, but there's already so much time taken off that it's like, okay, this is a different, this is a, honestly probably a better spot. This uh, is the spot I see Spark looking for. You put it there. Yeah, but uh, I mean. Imagine if they sack in, like how do you sack into this? And this isn't like, this would be really good if this is like, yeah, we're going to turtle. We're going to take the final 10 minutes off the clock. You're going to run out of time. You're going to lose. But now it's infinite overtime. So this isn't actually doing anything <laughs> for you. I mean. Uh, you know what You know what he has? He has Rivet. Is he on the, is he, if he's not a noob, he's on the. I'm the, checking. The crit, checking. The crit, crit shotgun? Crit shotgun? He is. He is. Oh, see, he knows what so he's now doing. He has... He's going to take the base cannon crits. Yeah. So that's definitely going to be a factor. You got to be careful about that. But, also, uh, the telly means you can just sack it. Like, it doesn't work. Either. This works better when you had nine minutes, but it still can work, you know? They might be playing with their food a little bit, but it's, you know, still a strap. You got a three man for sure, or something. Dingo up oh, in the air. There goes. Oh, it didn't see the fact that it was a three man. The gun gets all three of them, but. Uh... May, is, uh, May had to Uber. The yeah, both teams get the force. May could have just got WM1 by a pyro. Yeah, so that's going to be the thing to seal the deal. They're so focused on sacking and supporting the sack. That uh, they didn't realize that they, you know, got to be careful watching all the doors. And the gun just gets spammed down by a loaf. But May does indeed have heals to heal the skeleton crew that's here on two, while the Mafia does not. So they can try to poke and prod, as you can see, as they're poking around and lobbing, but they know it's not really going to lead to too much. Do not go for the attempt and just go back to last, as they know they do have a little bit of disad. But uh, there's not that much time. I mean, you can build up the Uber once and maybe go for a sack or something, maybe try to use it as a desperation play. But overall, I don't think the Mafia can be too upset here. Realistically, I don't think you were expecting a uh, like a full wipe or something coming from Cozy that gets you two and then some. So if anything, Cozy, they really got to, you know, I mean, maybe they'll be content with it in a way, I guess, maybe. Because it's not like anything super bad is happening, but it's kind of yeah. like losing an opportunity if you you know, you're just going face, for this. Do you think that like Cafe asked or just went it? Because I've, I've, no, we've I interviewed Cafe before and I, I feel like he just went it. I don't think he asked. I think, yeah, I think he, he just, he's, yeah, he's... Give the desperation Uber. 
with the I, I hear the crit trying to get the early force. He doesn't really have he's a whole lot of He's using them. He's just whacking them. He's going for it. He will eventually die. Engineer too. Maybe this is what the side of... Wait, look at oh, May. Look, look at May. May. Maybe this is what, you know, the side of the blue team was looking for. May. Oh, the point time, the point if time. If he back caps right now. No, the timing of it. The timing of it. Oh, oh my head, god, is this going to be enough, Demo? On top head, of the point. Head, oh, 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 another one. He just gets it. He has the perfect timing. The devil's unaware. The sword is out of ammo. He gets a 2k. May with the final cap. What a way to end the game. The culmination of the whole match just ends like that. And that was probably not one. I mean, maybe you got your 5-1 prediction right, but no one could have predicted the ending like that. Especially, you kind of expect it to be like, oh, they're all they're going to push it to me. He's in a back cap. No, he chaps up, kills two of them, wins right there. So, uh, what and an ending. Was, you know, Cody taking 5 head, five giga brain, whatever adjective you want to use. Uh, play, play of <laughs> I've seen in a while by a medic. Actually, you know, the man of infinite, uh, infinite intelligence. No, I'd mark that as plays of season so far when it comes to casted matches. I also, I, I, I do like they, they threw out some memes there at the end to kind of spice things up. Still got the dub, 5-1. I think that it was a 5-1, but it definitely wasn't like an easy 5-1. I think that uh, the Mafia definitely showed some fight. I think that it, I think this will be a lot different of a team later in the season. It's one of those things where it's like, I don't know how often... The Mafia got to actually scrim against a lot of invite teams when they were in advance. I know there was a little like period of time where they were playing Froyo a bunch, but you can only learn so much from that when the gap is that big, right? So, you know, going into invite now, you actually get a, a, a like a large amount of teams, maybe even all of them to scrim against you. Now you're really starting to like learn a whole lot. So this might be the a big growth moment for them in terms of the first you know half of the season. And honestly, despite the score, they showed signs of life. There were just things in here and there that they didn't really have locked down. But Cozy, once again, proving their experience uh, will reign supreme to, you know, have a close match on the maps they lose and be pretty dominant on the maps they win. You can take a look at the stats here. You can see some classic Metalworks logs. As no one will enter the 300 DPM club tonight. And overall, <laughs> the kills aren't too far apart. You know, 23, 22, 21, 20, night, double 19 double 17 it's like they're pretty balanced in, in terms of actually securing the frags uh and i noticed kevin depth, kevin may <laughs> the only big difference like i think the biggest difference is probably the demo and medic death realistically yeah i, I noticed that the Dimos did play very well but he definitely did get caught out a couple times when the soldiers were bombing you know like you said metalworks is a very difficult demo man and it's, there's not that much space to to surf to kite tubes and so if you're caught out sometimes you are just caught out it's the, kind of the, I think the experience might have helped him. I think it's the probably the hardest backwards transition map in the pool, at least in like my like my opinion. Like yeah. if your ability to like oh we're at a disadvantage, we need to start leaving, but like not fully leave, but just like carefully do it so you can still like sell them now and get a force whatever. Out of all the maps, this is like for a variety of teams, this is the one they struggle with the most. Um, so, uh, you know, I expect a lot of deaths there. I mean, we saw that the big one was obviously, like, that full wipe that you saw that happened to the Mafia where the Cozy Black just went through bridge, like, as soon as it capped mid and just, like, completely chowed down. You don't really see that too often versus a lot of teams that are pretty well matched because there at least be a handful of players that will, like, be able to make sure they're at least somewhat safe and can yeah. expect that sort of play. Like, oh, default, it's going to be bridge unless we actually see them underpass. But, uh... You know, maybe, uh, I guess the something else was happening for the side of the mafia there, and it, and it kind of bit them, and that was, you know, around there that could have been prevented. But overall, you know, it's still, like I said, room for improvement. I think a lot of people are expecting some good things from them. We'll see where it actually lands them. Big difference between, you know, finding yourself, you know, sliding yourself into fourth seed and, you know, just barely making it at, at fifth and everything below. So we'll see how their journey continues as they play some some other opponents. Honestly, maybe some easier ones, because, you know, if this is if Cozy Black is the third place team, then this isn't the team you have to beat to make playoffs. You it's know, the fourth play, place team. Yeah. So if you if you can prove yourself to be the fourth place team, you know you win against the other teams, then you have that room to like, okay, well, you know we don't need to win against Cozy Black until we would play them in playoffs. You know, but yeah. you, you got a whole like three months or something. Yeah, I could see that happening. Well, good cast. I don't know if we have anything else for us uh i don't think we have anything for friday or this weekend at least in terms of tf2 casting it's been a bit of a bit of a slow week but anything uh on the note of no 
No, just the classic. You got Highlander on Monday as the Highlander season is ongoing, of course. And then I think the schedule still needs to get posted. Uh, and teams got to schedule their actual matches. So, you know, if they reschedule off the default dates, etc., etc. There's a lot of matches that need to get played. Um, who knows when they're actually going to get played. Some teams try to slide them in the next week. Some teams try to wait until the very end of the season. I think there were three matches this week that got rescheduled. So, you know, next week might be jam-packed or might be normal. But either way, definitely want to keep your eyes peeled on, like, the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday range because there's bound to be something that will, will land there. And, you know, we'll, we'll try to pick the best thing. And uh, and hopefully it'll be, you know, some pretty good plat implications if we're lucky. It's only a matter of time before we, we get to some the nitty-gritty of the, the middle teams, you know, fighting for their life. So I definitely don't want to miss it. Get, definitely keep your eyes peeled. But keep I think, your eyes peeled indeed. I think it's I think that pretty much it. Any shouts before we go ahead and close things out? Uh, yeah, shout out both teams playing good games, shout out viewers, all that good stuff. Yep, teams for playing, definitely shout out Dolphin on production, and uh, shout out the teams for, for playing early, you get an early bedtime if you're staying up too late. True. Yeah. It's always nice, I mean, they, it's probably why they shout know, out to played Engineer. early in the... Yeah, shout out to Engineer. It's probably why they played early in the first place, someone's probably got an early morning or something. Yeah. But, uh, I think it's going to be it for us for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely try to stop by next week if you can for more Sixes action, but that'll be it. I've been Jarrett casting with Space Ghost with Dolphin on production. Thank you and good night. Good night.